Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's search around the castle for Prince Howard and drag him by the scruff of his neck to that rite of passage, or whatever rite it was called, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that might be a problem. Well, we can't have more than four party members at a time anyway, so it's not like we really need him to help out with that. What's this guy doing? Oh, right, he's a bard or something. Brave Sir Howard ran away, bravely ran away, away. Well, he's always missing. Well, wouldn't anyone be? I mean, they got monstrous monsters there. Holy cow. Probably some of the toughest we've met up with so far, although the area isn't that really difficult. Spoiler alert, we're going to be going there. But, uh, no, I'm not hiding around here. Well, I'll just tell you. In order to find Prince Howard, we have to talk to a specific NPC in order to do that. So, to get there, we need to go into the basement. We got all these branching paths and passages in the basement area here that connect to all different parts of the castle. And this is the only way we can get into this room. Well, this is Howard's room. So, oh, really? I wonder. Well, anyway, yeah, this is the guy you have to talk to about that. If you didn't talk to him and you try going to find him, he will never be there. Well, get ready to be disappointed, Ashlyn. Another one of those red doors, or golden border doors, or whatever those doors are. We can't open them yet. If only I could get an item that could help me open those. Or a, uh, what is it? Uh, a spell to open those. I don't think we have a spell for that anymore. We kind of don't really need it. Oh, well. Oh, wait, you know, I wanted to uh, check the contents of that dresser. I don't think there's anything in there. No, okay. We've already got everything. So, let's uh, go to find Prince Howard. Just like the kid was saying about hiding in a barrel. We need to go over here. Let's see, which one is it? Haha! -ha! Mm, nice hiding place you got there. Because that's the object of the game? What are you gonna do? Just sit in there all day? Yeah, pretty much. What do you mean, who would be a prince? You're the prince. Maybe he's just using bad grammar. I think he means to say, who would want to be a prince? With all the crap he has to deal with. Personally, I'd rather be a chancellor. You know, not the figurehead in charge, but the guy behind the curtains who's really in charge. All right. <laughs> oh, Ashlyn. And now you're just talking crazy. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We, we found him. He's okay. Oh, yeah, you want to be rich, don't you? King, or Prince Howard? Yeah, we can do all the dirty work for you. What's the point of having him go through a rite of passage if we have to do all the actual work? I mean, if you're going to be in charge, you got to be the most powerful dude around. Oh, well, he's changed his mind. Well, okay then, good, good. Let's uh, head on over there then. All hail Howard the Coward. I mean, uh, Prince Howard. Well, we do have forbearance if it really came down to it to protect Howard. Oh, okay, what is it? 
Ah, okay. Come back quickly, though. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Carver? Yeah, yeah, th th that's it, Navan. Now nah, he ran off. Okay, yeah, we gotta look around to find him again. But anyway, first things first, I want to go over here to get the Seed of Wisdom. I'm not entirely sure what wisdom does in this game. It's not like Dragon Quest Three, where it affects uh, when you learn spells, or it was the intelligence stat, but essentially the same deal. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't affect spell learning, or I don't think it affects MP growth anymore, anyway. From what people have told me, people who are more knowledgeable about the mechanics than I am, they said it, like, affects status resistance or something. But, uh, alright, we found it. So yeah, the reason why I gave the Seed of Wisdom to Carver is, well, if it does affect status resistance, I want Carver to have a lot of it, mostly so that he can't, or, well, not can't, but ha he'll have more resistance to status effects, like Fuddle, or Confusion, or whatever. You will be assimilated, Prince Howard. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, you're serious, aren't you, Ashton? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably one of the most annoying parts of the game. Well, it could be worse. We could be uh, have, trying to build a bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's not near... This isn't nearly that bad. But yeah, this is probably the most tedious part of the game. Oh, well. We'll get through it fairly quickly. Well, you're about to. Oh, well, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to go to uh, Medford's Manor before picking up Prince Howard. Even though that really doesn't... I mean, he'll, it doesn't matter. He'll come back once you get back here, but, yeah. Yes, you are a burden. What do you think raising children is? Okay, let's, uh, well, before heading to the cave, let's go to this little shrine here. See what they got. Hmm, another one of those red doors. Hmm, yeah, not much we can do here, for now. Finding a lot more of those things around lately. But, yeah, it's locked. So, oh well. We'll come back here eventually. But not today, not today. Okay, now let's head to the Hallowed Hollow. And fight a new enemy there, Scorching Man. Let's see, these guys, I'll just use double up on them. But uh, let's see, what do they do? They got a fl flame breath and a fire breath attack. One of them's a little weaker than the other. But uh, yeah, they can deal pretty good damage to you. Uh, still, though, I equipped both Carver and Rex with magic shields because I think that's mostly more pertinent now. But, alright, oh got him. Easy enough. By the way, another thing about Scorching Man, if you're going to use attack magic on them, use either Crack or Whoosh because they're strong against just about everything else. So... Yeah, but overall, nothing extraordinary. You can't even crowd control them. They're strong against a lot of statuses, too. Ah, oh, nuts. Not again! We just got in the place! <sighs> okay. Maybe you should put him, like, at the head of the party. That way, if the monsters get him, well, he won't be our problem anymore, will he? But anyway... Yeah, we gotta go looking around for him again. And, well, I'll just direct you to where we need to go. We need to go back to... Oh, what was the name of the town? The town that we were just at there. How... something. Howsworth. Yeah, Howsworth. That's it. Okay, um... Did, where's the town? Oh, right there. Okay, whoops. Overshadowed a little bit. 
But anyway, all right, another new enemy, Gust Blusters. Just like their cousins, they can cast Wind Elemental spells. In this case, Swoosh. So you don't want to use that on them. So I'm going to use Frizzle against them. And I'm actually going to have Rex use Sultry Dance because it can stun one of them. And it'll, well, as you can see, it'll make them boogie for some reason. And yeah, it stuns them for a round there while we're waiting for them to do their thing. But, all right. Man, Carver's like a one-man army here. He does more damage than everyone else. But anyway, okay. So we're back here. But I do want to rest up because I used a bit of MP against those enemies there. Unfortunately, you can't zoom directly to the village. You can only zoom to the castle. So, yeah, and the castle doesn't have the save point. So, yeah, it gets a little tedious going back and forth. But fortunately, this part isn't very long. Not extraordinary. But, well, let's see where he could have gone to. Oh, hey, that boy wasn't there before. Oh, okay, well, it looks like we're in the right place. Oh, did he leave already? Yeah, probably. Well, you could paralyze him. I'm trying to think of what we ha have that could do that. Millie will eventually learn Burning Breath, so we could use that. But, yeah, here it is. Um, so that way your troops will be willing to stand behind you? And root for you instead of overthrowing you? You don't seem to have a problem with uh, dealing with the monsters, Nivan. That's our job. That's why we're on the payroll. Well, I guess we're not being paid, but... You know, I don't know why we're doing this. They didn't say we were going to get any reward, I don't think, unless I glossed over it. Probably did, but... All right, found them. Well, we got plenty of patience, as long as we have a bunch of magic waters to keep our MP up. That'll help us out. Use patience magic. Or just use uh, courageous magic on Howard or something. I don't know. Man, Howard would do really bad at Ultima 4. Oh well. But anyway, okay, now he's not gonna run away out of the cave again. So, yeah, we can just head on straight through and get to the right. But, alright, make sure you keep an eye on him, viewers. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> he didn't run away that fast. Oh, a little bit, I guess. Remember that chest for later. I'm going to come back to it eventually, but... Anyway, okay, new enemy there, Stinkerbell. Uh, these guys can cast Sizzle or use a Lightning Staff, which would do the same thing, I guess. And they could also cast Buff. Uh, let's see, you could use Drain Magic on them, but there's really no point since we could just you know, double up, kill them, and then use Frizzle. So, hooray! Yeah, that was easy enough. But anyway, okay, let's uh, heal up. And let's see. Oh, you want to make sure you got magic shields on everyone. That'll help out a little bit. Oh, okay. Let's dance for mini boss time against the first test. Okay, so we want Carver to use uh, focus strength and uh, knuckle sandwich eventually. And then we want to use swoosh because he's strong against everything except Crack and Woosh. And yeah, he does Fuddle Dance most of the time, actually. This fight isn't really so much hard as it is just annoying to have to deal with being confused all the time. So, well, we'll do the best we can. Fortunately, none of us got confused today the first time around. 
You could use Fizzle on him, but I don't think that would be a really good idea. Oh, yeah, we got confused a little bit there. But yeah, one thing to keep in mind is that if you use Fizzle on him to prevent him from casting spells, and let's say you leveled up Dancer really high, you learned Band Dance to prevent him from using Cuddle Dance, then he'd use Inferno on your entire party for like 70 or 80 damage. <laughs> It'd be like, whoa! Way more than we can deal with. So, yeah, you don't want him to use Inferno. It's better to just put up with the Fuddle Dance. Even if I had Band Dance, I wouldn't use it. Looks like giving the Wisdom Seed to Carver there didn't really help us out. So just try to keep going with Swoosh and the Staff of Divine Wrath, which I gave back to Rex there. And if you need to heal, go ahead and do it. But really, we're not going to be killing him with Swoosh. It, that would take way too long. If only there were an item that would prevent, or, well, not prevent us from being confused, but undo the, or cure the confusion status. But sadly, this game doesn't have one. Well, unless you count, like, the Sands of Time or something, which we had in the previous two games, but... Yeah, that, that wouldn't work. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know what being more confused means. I don't think it means anything. I think it just means that, hey, you were confused, and... Okay, now you're being confused again. Or something like that, I don't know. Oh, well. Same thing with sleep, too. Like, when you're asleep and then they put you to sleep again, it says you became more asleep, whatever that means. Something like that. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything like your ability to recover from it or your ability to uh, be confused or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't, like, keep you confused. Like, I've had instances where someone was confused then they were more confused, and their very next turn, when it came up, they uh, snapped out of it or something. But yeah, as far as I know, there's no way you can get out of it. You can't just uh, hit your own party members or something to bring them out of confusion or sub them out. I don't think we could do that here. Even if I could, I wouldn't want to. So, yeah, I mean, he could just fuddle dance again. But at least Carver's out of it now. Carver's gonna have to do the bulk of the damage here. But yeah, we're still hanging in there. It's just annoying to have to deal with confusion all the time like that. Oh well, we almost got there. But yeah, okay, so we got the focus strength going. Okay, good, good. Yeah, focus strength, knuckle sandwich, that'll help take care of this guy. You could also cast Sap on him. But, he has so little defense to begin with, it's not worth it. I mean, it would be a negligible increase of damage. And, yeah, Rex and Ashlyn, not really doing a whole lot right now. Oh, or that you could just kill the boss by accident. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Uh, Howard, how did you get over there? Not, not again. Yeah, these guys are hard. How are we going to get down there to find Prince Howard and bring him along with us anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.E. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.